All right, we want to take you back to this breaking news situation right now that is unfolding in Midland City, Alabama, where a child was taken off a bus by a man with a gun who shot their bus driver. We heard this whole tale as it was told by one of the little girls who was on the bus. We want to listen to this brand new audio that we have of the police scanner while this unfolded. Listen to this. Central 26 Ford, everybody, the child has been removed from the bus. Unbelievable. Uh, Sergeant Rachel David is the spokeswoman for the Dothan Police Department, and she joins us now. Sergeant, uh, thank you for being with us. I know that you have a very active situation on your hands right now. What's the, what's the latest in all of this? We do. Thank you for having us. Well. As you know, we did respond to a call for service. The call came in yesterday at 3.36 p.m. Um, initial early reports were of a shooting involving a school bus. Now, on early arrival, authorities did confirm that there was one fatality, and limited information was given beyond that at that time. Certainly, we have multiple agencies on scene that are working in a joint effort to bring this situation to a quick resolution. We have now um, evacuated the immediate area around uh, the incident where the command post is located. Um, additionally, we have uh, worked very hard to keep the information flowing. But again, early in an investigation, our number one priority is the safety of the public. Yeah. We have just released that the confirmed victim was the school bus driver. Uh, we extend our deepest sympathies to that family. Uh, we have confirmed the identity of the victim as 66-year-old Charles Albert Poland, Jr. Mr. Poland was employed by the Dale County Board of Education in 2009 and was acting in official duties yesterday when fatally shot. Um, unfortunately, just a tragic situation and one that we are still working to resolve. Yeah, Sergeant, I mean, your heart breaks for that man's family. As you say, 66 years old, uh, been driving that bus for about four years, and the story that one of the little girls told was that this man got on the bus and said to the bus driver something to the effect of, I need a child. And he said, he said, no. And then he was shot. So, I mean, he truly is a hero. He was trying to protect the children on his bus. He, he said, absolutely not, or whatever you know, his response was. He said, no, according to that eyewitness on the bus. Now, now let, let's go back to the scene that we're watching here live. We can see the SWAT teams. Uh, it was reported earlier that there is some sort of pipe that goes down into this underground bunker through which the police are talking to this man who's holding this six-year-old child. We have not released any specifics about the layout of the area that we are working in. Um, certainly, we do have safety considerations and tactical considerations. And because we are so early into the investigation that is an ongoing incident, we do have to limit the information um, that we are giving out. But again, just ask everyone to keep this situation in their thoughts. Is there a medical condition that this child suffers from? Because there were also reports that, that he was that the man did concede to allow this child to be given medicine. The only thing we have confirmed about the involvement of a child is, is that there is a child involved in the situation. We have not given any information about the I child, understand. any specific. I, 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 I completely understand that. And yes. you understand me asking, I'm sure. But I just want to ask you one more thing. Do, what's your, does this man have any criminal record? What do you know about, the, about this, this suspect? We are working very hard to develop um, all information about the suspect. We have not released his identity at this time. Um, but do still, as law enforcement officials, we have information that will be helpful in knowing in who we are dealing with at this time. Good luck to you guys. Uh, this is a very, very ten uh, tense situation. Sergeant Rachel David, we thank you very much for being with us today. Best of luck. Thanks. Thanks.